All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. <clears throat> All this week we've been working on total resistance. I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of what you should know already, because I'll be on your test on Thursday, all right? Which is manana. And so you should know what a series circuit is, you know, series. That's a symbol for a battery here, okay? Battery symbol. There's your conductors. You need three things for a circuit. You need a voltage source, which is your battery. You need your conductors and you need some sort of a load. Symbol for resistance. Okay, calculating resistance in a series circuit. If this is 10 ohms and this is 10 ohms, then you know in a series circuit, you just add them together. So 10 ohms plus 10 ohms equal 20. So 20 ohms is your total resistance. Okay, or your total ohms, we just call it ohms. I don't want to spell resistance out every time. So then we have a parallel circuit. You guys should know what that is. Okay, so again, we have a voltage source. Another battery, we have our conductors, we have a resistor, and then we're going to put another one in parallel with it. Okay. Now, when you start getting more resistors in one, what you want to do is we want to label these guys. Okay. We'll label them like R1, R2. That way we know which ones we're talking about. We'll call this one R1 and R2, all right? So in a parallel resistor, I mean, in a parallel circuit with two resistors that are the same value in parallel, we'll use the same values as here. We'll call this um, 10 ohms. We'll call this 10 ohms, okay? In this case, the series, the atom, we end up with 20. Okay, in this case, we know that when we have two resistors in parallel, when they have the same value, they all have to be the same value, the same number of ohms, it's going to be half of one of them. So you look at that right away and you don't even have to like do anything. You already know half of 10 is gonna be five. So this will be five ohms, all right? So yesterday we went over how to do, um, if they're different values, I'll review that in a second, but let's skip to a series parallel. We're gonna go in the same order. We've been, we've been learning this stuff, all right? So you got a series parallel circuit and you should know already that a series parallel circuit is just going to be a combination of these two put together. So again, we have a bad symbol for a battery and that's our voltage source. There's our conductors. There's a symbol for resistor, that's our load. Three things you need to make a circuit, voltage source, conductors, and a load. In this case, we're gonna make this a parallel circuit now, okay? And we're gonna put part of it is going to be in series here. So. When you have a series circuit and a parallel circuit, what you need to do is find out what your total resistance of these two are first and turn it into one. And then you can add them all up together. So here we're gonna have, got a tractor going by. We're gonna have uh, R1, R2, R3, and R4, okay? So that way we always know which resistors we're talking about. We have to have that. So when we get into the, our next formula, we have R1 times R2 over R1, R2, you can start plugging stuff in. So pay attention to, to what resistor is what. So in this case, this use the same amount. We'll use 10 ohms, we'll call this 10 ohms. We'll call this 10 ohms. We'll call this 10 ohms, 
I'll make this one 10 ohms. I'm not about trying to be, teach you to be an expert mathematician. What I'm trying to do is get you so you know what to do. So that's why we're using simple values, okay? So we already know that these two together right here, okay? You already know we have two resistors in parallel together like that. It's going to be half of one of them. So we already know that that equals five ohms right there. Now we have 10 over here plus 10 ohms, okay? We have 10 over here. This is in series with these two. This one's in series with these two because all the current that leaves your voltage source has to run through this one before it can split and run through these two. And then it goes back together and it runs through this one. This is what makes it series. So these two equal five. This is 10. This is in series also. This is 10, okay? So if you add them up, that is going to be 10 plus 5 plus 10. 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5. That equals 25 ohms. All right. So that should bring you personally up to speed. That's a super quick review of what you should know already. So let's get rid of this. That's so simple. You should know it. Okay. Uh, this is just so you know to solve. You turn all your parallel resistors into series, and then you can just add them up. Now, what we got going on here, we went over this yesterday. What happens if these two guys are not the same value? <clears throat> then we can't take half of one of them. We have to use a different formula. So let's say that this is... Uh, Let's say this is five ohms, okay? And this is 10 ohms. So what's the total resistance of this? Before you use any formula at all, any formula, you already know one thing. I mean, this right here is the smallest resistor out of these two. I don't care if you've got 40 of them up here, 40 different resistors running all the way down to the bottom of this truck is whiteboard. The answer to this question is always going to be smaller than their smallest resistor. So <clears throat> if you are going to use the formula and you're going to calculate this out and you come up with a value that is higher than five, you know you freaking made a mistake somewhere. It ain't right. It has to be below five. So whatever your answer is, is going to be between point whatever, you know, it's going to be below five. It's not going to be above five. Um, it's not going to necessarily be between one and five because it could be less than one too. But in this case, I, I'm looking at it at that be. So, um, so what we're going to do is a formula for this one is we know this one is going to be R1. There's R1 right there. Okay. And you're going to times that by R2. That one right there. And you're going to have an R1 again, the same R1 as that guy right there, plus R2, which is that guy right there. So now all you got to do is like plug your picking numbers in. It is not that hard to do. All you got to do is, okay, which one is R1? This one, five ohms. So you have five ohms. Well, okay, I'll make it even simpler for you. You start out with this. So that's the times on top, okay, plus on the bottom, okay? Now all you gotta do is fill these in. Which one is R1? That one, five. Which one is R2? That one, 10, okay? R1 again, R1 is five. Plus R2, There's, what's R2? Is 10. Five times 10 equals 50. 10 plus 5 is 15. All right? So that's what you get. You get that number right there, 50 over 15. Then you take your handy dandy rusty, trusty phone and you open it up to the calculator. Okay? Get your little whoop. Get your little calculator right there going. And you take 50. Okay? 
a divided by 15, and that is going to equal 3.333. So that is your answer. 3.33 ohms. Okay. That's your total resistance. Now, had you got 6.33, that's more than five. So you know it would have been wrong. All righty. Now you guys are up to speed. So we're going to go in some new territory. All right. This is new territory. This is stuff you guys don't know yet. All right. You should know all this stuff already. And this is what you don't know. What if? We have <clears throat> what if we have three resistors in parallel? What are you going to do then? You'll make that 20. So you got resistor one, five ohms, resistor two, 10 ohms, resistor three, 20 ohms. So this is the new formula for this. And um, it's gonna be one. Now everybody forgets about this one. They always do the stuff on the bottom and they always forget to divide their answer into that one on top. So don't forget to do that. It'll be one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, resistor three. Okay, so here's the deal. You can keep going with this. You could go resistors to four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, we could have resistors running all the way down the board. This will solve picking all of them, all right? Again, very simple. All we gotta do is come over here. You already know that we have this part right here, we have one. Another tractor going by. Anyway, one, and then you got one. What's your what's your R1? Five. Okay. Plus, okay, one over what's your R2? Ten. Plus, okay, R one over R three, which is 20. So now we got to figure that out. Now, again, for those of us who are not expert calculus, mathematicians, and scientists, we're going to pull our king phone out, and we're going to go to our calculator, okay? And we're going to go over here, and we're going to go, make sure it's clear, and we're going to go 1 divided by 5 equals 0.2. So all we know that this is 0.2, okay? Plus this one here, we're going to go 1 divided by, because we're going to do this one right here. We're going to do 1 divided by 10 equals 0.1. Point one plus, and we're going to do this other, this last one here. We're going to do that one right there, okay? One divided by 20 equals 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Okay, now we're going to add these guys up, all right? So we're going to go 1.1, 1 .1, right? I'm sorry. 0.2 right here, 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0 0.05. You come up with 0 0.35, okay? So that's, you know, two and one is three plus 0 0.05 is, yeah, that looks, that looks totally right. So this is where most people think they have the answer. They go, oh, it's 0.35. Now, you forgot this guy right here. 
boom. This is all under one, okay? Common mistake of all my classes, everybody like, they get to this point, they think they're done and they're not. So what you gotta do, you take one, so this is one on the top, and you divide it by, because that 0.35 is on the bottom, 0.35, and you get 0.285, okay? So your answer is point, I'm sorry, two, two, point, Eight five ohms. So if you notice, <clears throat> this is staying true. So what I told you, it had to be smaller than the five. Two point eight five is smaller than five. Now if we would have got six point eight five, we would have known it would have been wrong. So remember your total resistance in a parallel circuit. Easy way to check if you made a mistake. Doesn't work all the time, but if you have it a uh, total resistance, if you have a total resistance that is higher than your smallest resistor, you know you made a mistake. So remember, this answer always has to be smaller than the smallest resistor that you have. So now I have a theory that we can test out here if you want. Uh, I have a theory that says that I, I, I think, I'm thinking about this, all right? I'm thinking, what if, what if we have four resistors in here, okay? So now we got four resistors. Well, that's an ugly, ugly addition. We got four resistors here. It's not too much better, but we're going to have R4, okay? Now, what if all of these guys are the same? What if this is 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms? Okay, now, here's my theory. Number one, I already know. that whatever it is is gonna to have to be smaller than 10. And I think that since we had two resistors in parallel, you know, when we had, when we had, uh, when we had two and they were 10 and 10, we knew that it was gonna be half of one of them, it was gonna be five. So what I'm thinking is, since there's two of them, you know, it'd be 50-50. So if there's four of them, maybe it'd be like 25, 25, 25%. Or it would be one fourth. That's my guess. I'm just thinking, hey, it works for this one. You know, we got 10 ohms and 10 ohms. Half of one of them is gonna be the answer if they're all the same. So I'm thinking, well, we have four of them, maybe the total uh, resistance will be one fourth of one of them, because we have four. We have three, maybe it'd be one third. We have five, maybe be one fifth. So let's check out my theory. Let's see if this works. So I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna do our formula, okay? One, and then we got one over 10, ohms plus one over 10 ohms. That's R2. Now, remember, you can add as many on these as here as you want, okay? Now, there's our R4, you can keep going. So we're gonna have one over 10, gonna be R3, R4, one over 10. Okay, we already know, we divide that in there, we get it for the first one. That's going to be 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 plus 0.1. Okay. So add these up. One, two, three, four equals 0.4. Uh oh. 
Is my theory right or not? I said it needed to be one fourth of one of these. Two and a half and two and a half and two and a half and two and a half. Two and a half is one fourth to 10. So um, did my theory hold it? Because I'm guessing this should be like two and a half ohms. That's because two and a half ohms is one fourth of 10 ohms. Because it takes four two and a halves to make a 10. So what did I not do? Ah, I forgot this part. This guy right here. Divide that one, that 0.4 into one. Well, let's see how many times that thing goes. Open our calculator up. And I go one divided by 0.4 equals. Oh, how about that? Freaking right. So there you go. That works. So, gentlemen, this kind of gives you an idea that your resistance, total resistance in a circuit, is going to be proportional to your resistors. You know, uh, it's easy to figure out when they're all the same values. When they're getting to different values, that's when you got to start using these formulas. So, this one, I mean, some of this, if you have two of them, you can just look at it. You know, it's half of one of them if they're the same value. If you got these in here, you can look at it, this and go, oh, that's two and a half ohms. You don't even have to do all this. So I'm giving you kind of a shortcut. And then I'm also giving you a tip if your answer comes out to, you know, two and a half ohms is definitely smaller than 10. So if we would have got 12 and 12 and a half ohms, you know, that would have been wrong. You know what I'm saying? So there's your little tricks you can do. Double check yourself or alert yourself that you made a mistake, you know, and they work. Not only is your resistance proportional, but your current is going to be proportional. In other words, your current flowing through this circuit, every one of these resistors, because there's four of them and they're all the same value, are going to take one fourth of the current. Now, if they're different resistors, they're going to be proportional to the resistance or uh, actually inversely proportional, but we won't go into all that. And that's where these formulas come in. So just remember this formula right here. You got to remember if they're different values, remember R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. These are the only two you really need. Uh, the rest of them, you don't need a formula to know to add things up in a series circuit. Or if they're equal value, you know they're going to be proportional. So anyway, gentlemen, that, whoo, it's almost 12 o'clock. That should get you where you need to get to. All this will be on your test tomorrow. And you have a fantastic day.